Meghan Markle and Prince Harry mark Remembrance Sunday in their own way. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have marked Remembrance Sunday in their own way, as they celebrate the special day away from the rest of the royal family. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex marked Remembrance Sunday by visiting the Los Angeles National Cemetery today. The couple said they wanted to personally recognize the day in their own way. Meghan and Harry laid flowers picked from their garden at the graves of two Commonwealth soldiers, one from the Royal Australian Air Force and one from the Royal's Canadian Artillery. The Duke also laid a wreath. He wrote, To all of those who have served, are our serving. Thank you. Meghan wore a mid-length black dress, complete with a black belt and red poppy. She wore her long dark hair down for the somber visit and completed the outfit with a plain black face mask. Prince Harry also wore a black face mask and suit, and proudly wore his military medals on his suit jacket. A spokesman for the Sussexes said, it was important to the Duke and Duchess to be able to personally recognize remembrance in their own way, to pay tribute to those who have served and to those who gave their lives, a statement said. The couple laid flowers that the Duchess picked from their garden at the grave eastheights of two Commonwealth soldiers, one who had served in the Royal Australian Air Force and one from Prince the Harry Royal Canadian a Artillery. Here's Morgan Duchess was Megan. quick to criticize the pair. Date in London, the he wrote on Twitter, was seen my a God, of they've even turned Remembrance Sunday into another self-publicity stunt. Have they no shame? Royal commentator Dan Wooden also took a swipe at Meghan and Harry over the visit. He said in a Twitter post, How lucky that a photographer happened to be here to capture this deeply personal moment. The Sussex's visit comes as members of the royal family including the Queen, Prince Charles, Camilla, Prince William and Kate attended the ceremony at the Cenotaph in London. Courtiers refused Harry's request to Buckingham Palace for a wreath to be laid on his behalf as he is no longer a working royal, the Sunday Times reported. Harry, who spent ten years in the armed forces, described Remembrance Sunday as a moment for respect and for hope in an interview with the Declassified podcast. He said, The act of remembering, of remembrance, is a profound act of honor. It's how we preserve the legacies of entire generations and show our gratitude for the sacrifices they made in order for us to be able to live the lives we live today.